How are you guys doing? Math Made Easy fans. So today, we're going to dive into another application of the law of cosines. Today, we're going to be looking, we are going to be knowing three, all three sides of a triangle, and we're going to be trying to find the angles of it, guys. So today, we're going to be doing the law of cosines. It's going to be super fun. Part two, leave a like on this video if you enjoy. Make sure to tune in for part three tomorrow. Now, let's get straight into this awesome stuff so what we're going to be what we're going to be aiming to learn how to do in this video is so we know the length of a b and c here we're going to be trying to find this angle okay and we for the sake of rounding in this video we're going to be doing it to the nearest degree i'm going to use degrees because that's a little bit easier for us to understand but Please tell me if you want me to do something in radians or if you want me to prove this, because I can do that too. But right now, we're doing a quick video on this stormy Wednesday night. So what we're saying is gamma. Gamma is the value I'm assigning, is the variable I'm assigning to this angle. It just, it's the third letter of the Greek alphabet. So this is the third letter of the English alphabet. So I think that's appropriate. Cosine minus one. And then we're going to take the quantity a squared plus b squared minus c squared. Don't forget that that minus is in there before the c squared over 2ab. And that is just all we'll have to do. So what this is saying is that if we know all three of these side lengths, we can find this angle length. That makes sense. And this is the way to do it. So. What we're going to do to start off is we are going to, well, I'm going to, I may, I prepared this problem already for us. Here at MathMate, actually, that's a very not to scale triangle. Hopefully this, this is still not to scale, but that really doesn't matter. The lengths of these sides are five, seven, and eight. We're going to try to find this, this angle. And then we're going to try to find the rest of them. Now, first angle, a squared, a is 5, 25. b squared, b is 27 in this case. c squared, c is 8 in this case. Twenty-five plus 49, 74, minus 64 is 10. And this is all going to be over 2AB. AB is 35. 2AB will be 70. So 1 seventh is approximately 0 0.143 in decimal form. Our cosine of 0 0.143. Calculate. To the nearest tenth of a degree, it's going to be 81.8. So I will write on the bottom here, gamma equals 81.8 degrees. Okay, now we're going to find this angle. So what's this angle's perspective on life? Well, the A and the B are the 5 and the 8, and then the C needs to be subtracted as the 7. So 5, so we're going to start off with 25 again, and then we're going to add... 64, because that's 8 squared. We're going to subtract 47. I mean, 49. Did I just say 47, folks? Oh, can you believe me sometimes? Um, so we have this, and then we're going to subtract it by AB. I mean, divide it by AB times 2. So AB is 40 times 2 is going to be 80. 60, uh... 25 plus um, 64 is going to be 89 minus 49 is going to be 40. Over 80 is actually going to be 1 half. Is that true? I'm always going to check my math. Yes, that is true, actually. So we will go. And you guys should have known that <laughs> I just did, I just put that there just for the sake of putting 
for the sake of doing that and making sure that y'all know what we are talking about here at the Math Made Easy Studios. So we have this angle, which let's just call this alpha. I don't think this is the proper alpha sign. I'll have to check on that. I'm sorry if I offended any Greek people by making the wrong alpha sign. 60 degrees. And then we could do the same thing to find this last angle. But the last angle is just going to be 180 minus 60 minus 81.8, which is going to be, I'll give you a moment to think about this one. I would be really happy with you if you got 38.2 degrees. So those are three angles of this triangle. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video a super lot. Make sure to tune in for part three coming out tomorrow. And yeah, please suggest stuff in the comments for me to do this weekend. Really excited to do a video this weekend. But for now, Math Made Easy, peace out.